full details on the dress. So that's what we are drawing. And we need a watercolor paper for today's class, a pencil, eraser, a Sharpie. And if you have some colors like watercolors or acrylic, you can use that. And if you don't have any of that, that's okay. You can use oil pastels or crayons, whatever medium you have, okay? So we'll start with sketching, okay? So we'll draw very light sketching first. We won't make lines darker until we are confirmed, you know, uh, until we are sure about the drawing. And then we will um, draw the, uh, you know, details, okay? Yeah, there you go. Can you see it's kind of a little bit, yeah. No, it's- Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so we're going to draw her. I hope that's <laughs> interesting, yes. And Twinkle will be here. If, if you have any questions, you can put that in the comment section and, uh, you know, we'll answer that questions. So I'm going to keep this on the side. Okay, I'll make it really simple and I'll give you different options if something is very difficult. Okay, so everybody, everybody can draw it, even kids or, you know, even grown-ups. You can also try. It's fine. So everybody together, we're going to draw. So I'm going to leave space at the top. Maybe you can leave one hand space at the top. Okay, just mark one hand space at the top. And this is where we're going to start our drawing. And all these lines are really light. Okay, so I'm going to keep it a little bit away. Yeah. And just make a bigger circle for his uh, for, for her face, okay? I'm going to make a big circle. So just mark the space you want. So I'm just leaving this much space for her neck and the dress. So this is the space we need, we need, it, um, need for her face, okay, head. And we're going to start with a circle. So you can draw oval or circle, but I think circle is kind of more closer, right? So we'll start with a circle. So it's less confusing. So let's start with a circle and draw very light circle. You can use a, you know, anything like a bowl or something if you want to make a circle. Don't need to draw like this. Yeah, you can see it's very light and it's a rough sketch. Take your time, don't worry, because it's a bigger shape. Because, you know, drawing bigger shape is really difficult. So take your time, don't worry. And I'll wait. Just, and you can see something else. So it's like a equal space on both sides, three finger space or four finger space on both sides, kind of in the middle, right? That is another thing you have to check when you draw portraits. If you, if you are drawing only one character, you can make it in the center. Done? Okay, just make a light drawing and we will confirm that later. And draw a neck, a small rectangle shape for the neck. So we'll make uh, some changes when we add the details. You can see there is no line, but we will start with a rectangle. Then you can draw two slanting lines on the side, slightly slanted line. You can see her shoulder is kind of slanting, kind of small slanting line. So you can draw two slanting line. And if you want to know the measurement, it can be, yeah, I think it can be three finger space. Maybe your fingers are smaller, right? So just make three finger space on both sides. Okay. And then you can add two slanting lines. So this is the basic shape we needed for the whole thing. Okay, and we will add more details on top. So this is where we this is the way we will start. Yeah, you can put all any character into this um, skeleton. Almost all the Disney characters. If it is a you know female or cute character, it will be oval or circle. If something you know negative character or something older character the the facial um head say uh, head shape will change it can be a rectangle shape or it can be like a triangle shape so it will change according to the character okay and you can see in uh in the movie up the the you know the old man's the grandfather there is a character right so old man so his face is kind of rectangle shape you can check that so there will be some changes according to the personality of the character. This is 
really round, cute, energetic character. That's why we are doing circle. Done? All good? Now we're going to draw the eyes. For that, we need to draw one straight line in the middle. So this is the middle. Just touch the middle of the circle. I think this is the middle, right? So just, that, just touch the center of the circle and mark there very lightly. And I'm going to draw one horizontal line. It's not exactly middle. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. I feel like it is not exactly center. I think this looks the center, kind of. Yeah, I'm not taking measurement or anything. Okay, very rough sketch. So this is kind of in the middle. And we're going to draw a vertical line that is also in the center. So this is the center, the middle part of this horizontal line, line right? So I'm going to draw a vertical line through that mark. We can use a ruler. Please use a ruler for the straight lines. And make the lines lighter so we can easily, you know, draw that. Done. So that is the measurement for the uh, head. And we'll draw the eyes on these lines. So we'll start with this, um, you know, this big circle, the, <laughs> the her glasses. And then we will add the eye in the center. I think that is easier. So spacing will be correct. Done. So we're going to draw a big circle. So leave a one finger space here and maybe a tiny bit gap on the side. Same thing, just one finger space here and a little bit gap here. And so this is where we're going to draw the big circle. That's, that's her glasses, okay, not the eye, and we are drawing the glasses. And you can adjust your circle. You can make it bigger or smaller according to the space available in the space, you know, the shape. And uh, just draw lightly. There is any correction adjustment. You can draw it, draw that easily. That's a big circle, right? Yeah. Another circle here. So um, if you know how to draw these basic shapes, like circle, rectangle, straight line, if you practice that, whenever you get time, you can draw anything easily. So see, I can draw circle easily because I practiced a lot. Okay, so whenever you get time, you just practice all these basic shapes, all the geometrical shapes. So when you come to your uh, come to the art class, you can simply draw the circle. Won't take time. Okay, and this video will be here, so you can watch anytime and complete your drawing. And uh, you know, if you want to do this green color there, like yellowish green color for the glasses, you can add one more line. But if you don't want to draw the green color, you just make a thick. Uh, circle you, you can just darken it with a sharpie you can make a thicker line see i'm anyway i'm drawing another circle for making that you know greenish yellowish color for the glass i'm adding one more circle in the middle okay but it's up to you if you if you just need one circle for the glass you can just you know stop that you can skip the step So two circles and then connect these two circles with a curve. Yeah. So we got the glasses. Very cute glasses and connect to the sides too. Two lines here, slanting line, not straight line, slanting line, diagonal line, okay? Diagonal line. And we'll draw the eye inside this. So I'll show you how to draw the eye, okay? No questions, right? Everybody is doing the drawing. I hope, yeah, just easier, easy steps. 
Okay, so let's draw I in the center so you can show, so you can draw a, a big arch shape, like a big half circle on that straight line. So this is a straight line, right? So on that straight line, you can add a big arch shape, like a rainbow. And we have this line, so just darken this part. Again, I'm going to draw the same type of arch rainbow shape here. And simply add a big eyeball, big circle for her eye. Big circle. Big circle. So um, can you see a darker area inside the eye? So we need to draw that too. So a small circle in the big circle. Okay. So these are the steps. So we started with big circle for her glasses. And then we added a big rainbow shape inside. Then the, we darkened this line. Then we added two circles for her eyeball. One and two one and two so i'm just repeating all these steps okay done can i go faster yep that is okay and here you can draw a small curve like this see if i'm making a simple nose shape okay so just make a curve like this and a small C on both sides, that's it. Like an oval shape, but no line at the top, only the bottom part. Oval-like shape. Okay, so that's the nose, that's enough. And below that, you can draw another line, but that's very close to the, yeah, it's less than one finger space, okay? So we can add a big curve here for her lips. So Kanika was asking, can you do the nose again? So I'm going to show you how to draw the nose one more time on a different paper. So just stop there, okay? If you finish this much, just wait. So. So this was the lines, right? Kanika, so we added the glasses and eye on this line and just below that, okay? Just between these two circles, you can draw a curve like this and small C, backward C and a C here. So that is enough for the nose, okay? It's very near. So in this drawing, it is touching this glasses, but in, in this drawing, there is a gap, so it's okay. We have more space or less space, that's fine. You can just draw a um, draw half oval shape here. That is enough, okay? And just below that, we did this big curve, almost like a straight line for the lips. So we're going to draw how many lines again? One line at the top. So this is the line we did, okay? This line, this is this line. So we'll draw one line at the top, one line below, one more line, okay? Total, one, two, three, four lines, okay? So this is the second one. So we're going to draw one line at the top for her upper lip. And if you want to show her teeth here, there is a gap there, right? So we need to draw one line here. And if you don't want to show her teeth, maybe this is enough. See, look at this. Now it looks like a lip, right? Yeah, this is also okay. But if you want to show her teeth, like she's smiling like this, you can add one more line. Just mark here and add one more line. And when you paint, you can leave this white, leave this uh, space. So it will look like white teeth. 
So total one, two, three, four lines if you want to show the teeth here. If you don't want to show the teeth, you can just do three lines. One, two, three, and you can skip this last one. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more time how to draw the lips. So if anybody missed that, you can check this. I'm going to show it on a rough paper. I started with this line, leaving a little gap. I added one line at the top, one line below it, another line below it. Done. Okay. Yeah, so we got all the details. Maybe, yeah, there is eyebrow. The, she has a thick eyebrow there, right? So I'm going to draw a small curve. Yeah, kind of slanting line. One, two. It's very close to this glass. Yeah, you can touch the glass here. So this is the glass, right? The frame of the glass. So you can start a curve or slanting line from that glass. Okay. And add one more line and make a make like an oval or triangle like shape here. Curl and it is connecting to the side of the that line. Look at that, it's a thick eyebrow. So this line is a small slanting line touching the glasses, and there is another line with a curve on the side and a sharp point here on the other side. Okay, how did I do it? I just added one line, another line at the top and a curve at the top. So we finished everything and we cannot see the ear that much, but maybe we can draw the ear on the side, very small half circle. And when you add the hair, all the other details, maybe you can cover it or you can show that it's fine. In some pictures, I can see this ear completely. Some pictures, we cannot even see that. Yeah, anyway, I'm doing it. So I can add her beautiful earring with a small circle, one straight line and a small circle. So it's blue color. Yeah, bigger circle. I think it can be a little bit more bigger. Yeah. Now we need to do her hair, clothes. That's it. It's very simple drawing, right? Yeah. If you have any question at this point you can just leave you finished all the details on the face now we're going to do the hair and her dress and you can watch the replay if you want to know these steps again okay we'll it will be here in our youtube channel so i'm going to do the next step now so i, I will start with this part so i'm going to draw one line above this eyebrow this part, this, this part, okay? Just add a small line. This is where we're going to start all the lines. And we're going to do some wavy line. And overall shape, look at the overall shape. One line here and it's going to come here and it's connecting to the neck. Okay, that is the order. So maybe you can do one thing, okay? If it is very difficult, you can draw very lightly the, the whole overall shape. If you want, you can draw the step just draw one line that that goes this way and then we will make some wavy line along wavy line along this line okay so this is the shape you'll start from here and it will go around her face and it will connect to the neck closer to the shoulder okay but instead of the straight line i mean curved line we're going to go with this wavy line so we'll start from this part, we're going to draw a big wavy line. One, two, three, then four, and some smaller wavy line. Yeah, maybe some curves like this. One, two, three. Yeah, thick hair, right? Yeah, same thing. We'll start with big wavy line. One, two, 
3D, and then I'm going to go with small, small curved lines. Done. And you can add this. I mean, you can erase this line, that guideline we did. Now, look at this line. This is not the, the line we wanted, right? So here something is different. So what is it? We have to add this wavy line here. And it is going to start from here. OK, it's going to start from here. One, two. See, this line is connecting to, connecting to the eyebrow. OK, it's covering a little bit of this eyebrow. And it is connecting to the ear. It's going like this. It's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now we know this line is not needed. So erase that part. So Rajasri was asking me how to draw the hair again. Yes, I can show you the, the hair, the shape of the hair. So this was the circle. Okay. So we started with this line just about the eyebrow and then we marked it how, how you know what is the shape of the whole thing with a very light um, you know the whole curved line then we started with some uh, we added some curved line along the straight line okay one two three four then some smaller smaller curves one two three and smaller smaller line that's it Okay, yeah. So inside this, so again, another line started from this line and it is covering the ear and it's going this way. So we can add more lines here if you want. It'll be nice when you outline with Sharpie. I'm adding a few more lines. But the flow of that line is, you know, very interesting. It's the same type of line. Right? Yeah, maybe you can add more lines here too. That is not there, but you can add more lines. It's fine. The hair is very thick, so you can add more line. And um, same thing. So there is one curved line here. We don't need that line. So we need to draw another line. I'm going to make it lighter. So just add another line from here. What kind of line? Wavy line. One, two. Yeah, it will go like this. Okay, so we have more space over here. So just add lots of wavy line. Let's show that curly hair, the thick curly hair. So if you, if you want to add more lines, you please add lots of wavy line here. So we have completed the details of the head. Now we know which line we need to erase. Which line we need to erase this one, right? So please erase that straight line. Erase neatly. This, if you're using watercolor painting, it cannot cover these pencil lines. It will be there. So make sure you're erasing it completely before you start painting. Now, I'm going to add the neckline. We finished all these lines. We can start with the neckline. It's very simple. Just add a big curve along the shoulder. See, you know, these curves, these are all basic shapes. I told you, you know, if you practice all these basic shapes, you can draw anything very easily. So just add a curve like this, like a bow shape. And add, I mean, erase this part. And here we can see a sharp edge. I don't want a sharp edge for this character. So just erase this part. Make a nice curve for the shoulder and neckline. That these two shapes are joining with the curve. I mean, a sharp line, right? So I erased it. I made a smooth curved line along this shapes. Okay. And she has a nice, beautiful dress. And you can look at this flap. There is another curve along the shoulder. So we'll start with this line, OK? And then we can add 
um, sleeves and lots of patterns into it butterflies flowers rainbows all these details on the dress okay so here so we did add the uh, what is it arms right okay sweda was uh, um, telling my dress is not going to end going to the end of the paper so that's okay sweda if you have more space there it's fine you can do one thing you can stop there so if you have more space it looks like this it's not touching the side of the paper it's fine you can just close this and make a straight line and you can stop there okay so here maybe you can add you can write something like mirabel or you can what else yeah if you want you can add lots of flowers a frame flower frames for for her you know portrait that is also fine so you can stop there okay yeah okay, that's clear and i'm going to draw um you know uh, the curved line from the shoulder so this line is continuing outside like this with a slanting line okay that's a dress and add that you know add this curve to join these two ends so these two ends are joining with a big nice rounded curve this is where we are adding all these butterflies and flowers so you have noticed another thing there is uh, there is something nice detail here like curves along this line but it's completely optional if you don't want to draw that you know curved line you can keep that way okay and you can add the butterflies over here okay but i am I'll, i'm show i'll show you how to draw that anyway okay so i'm going to erase this slightly now i know this mark this, there is a line there so along this that line i'm going to add this pattern like petal like pattern to the end so i can add lots of butterflies here one straight line and butterfly wings one straight line butterfly wings that's it one straight line butterfly wings but here i can see a rainbow right can i see a, can you see a rainbow but it doesn't have a lot of uh, flower i mean colors just two colors pink and blue so let's draw two rainbow shape i mean two cloud shape and add this line one two two colors one two and again i have a space here so i can draw a butterfly and there is some big butterfly there is one big butterfly here same shape you can draw the same shape but it is a bigger and we will color with pink color and you can add lots of lines into this it will be nice see these are all patterns on her dress but if you don't want to draw this exact pattern you can simply add your patterns of flowers or rainbows or you can do anything here okay that's your you know according to your idea you can do it yeah i can see some flowers also but i'm not doing that i'm just keeping this way simple and her sleeves are just below it straight line pattern arms so that's it we have completed the drawing and now we will outline with sharpie and we'll paint it so use a permanent marker for outlining if you don't have permanent marker that's okay you can paint it and you can outline with normal marker later after painting okay is it clear twinkle or yeah can you hear me yeah i can hear you okay <laughs> okay yes um we don't have any questions for now mm -hmm. okay so we we'll just go ahead and outline the drawing yeah if you are planning to paint it use sharpie okay this uh, if you are using normal black markers it will blend with the watercolors or acrylic 
So don't use normal markers before painting. Clear? So I'm using a Sharpie. It's permanent marker. You can use fine point or ultra fine point. Any type of tip it is okay, but it should be permanent marker. Just check that. And this is completely optional doing the outline. If you don't want to outline, you can just keep that as a pencil drawing. Yeah, I'm just outlining all these lines. With the Sharpie. And uh, we will discuss the color of that after that. Okay. Our skin tone is so beautiful. There's some yellow in it. There's some brown in it. Nice, beautiful skin tone. So we'll mix that with two colors. Actually, we'll use yellow ochre and brown. We'll mix these two colors together to get to get the skin tone. Even any yellow plus brown is okay. If you don't have yellow ochre, that's okay. You can just take any yellow and we can mix some brown into it. Oops, it's going outside. We have a question from Rajhasri. Can you show me how to draw the arms? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why I'll show you here on this paper. So, this was the flap we did we just added one big flap so and i erased this line okay and i added the patterns and stuff but we have a little gap here on the side right so we can add one two two sleeves one two just a slanting line and add the same type of pattern so we have extra space so we can add arms here Okay, thank you. And we have from Bubbles, how can uh, how can you share the drawing after? Um, we will po post the replay, right, Miss Mimi? Yeah. So you can see the same video in our YouTube channel, so you know how to draw this. So you can come back and do it anytime. And if you want to share your work, you can put that in the comment or you can just share in our uh, com community, right? Uh, Twinkle or in Facebook group. Yeah. Where so if you are a Nimis Art student, uh, you can post in our Facebook group. It's Nimis Art. And then Miss Nimi will uh, give you feedback inside. And if you're not uh, yet our student, you can tag or mention us in your post. So I added some eyelashes too, but this, you know, this eyelashes are really tiny lines, just small, small, straight lines for her eyelashes. Yeah, if you are my student, uh, so we did Harry Potter for eight to twelve, and Alice in Wonderland in five to seven age groups, and we will be painting next week. So make sure you have completed your drawing before next class. Okay, I just want to remind you if anybody missed that, just go watch the video and complete the drawing before next class. You'll be painting that drawing in the next lesson. Because sometimes, you know, you will miss the class and you'll forget to do the video. I mean, watch the video and draw, the, draw that. So just complete your drawing before next week's session. Just want to remind you. I'm still outlining this. See, this designs, you can make your own designs, okay? Because she has a lot of designs and patterns on her dress. Yes, that's so beautiful. So if you finished outlining, you can erase the pencil lines. Oops, I forgot one line here. Yes. Anything else? Okay, just one more line. So we'll start with the skin tone and you know after each color I'll wait for a few seconds you know for drying you can see what this watercolor will spread into the next color if it is wet 
So if you don't want to blend these two colors, you have to wait. And you cannot uh, you know, go back. You, you cannot erase the mistake. You have done in watercolor. But in acrylic, it's OK. If you make mistake, it's OK. Let it dry. And you can go back and correct it later. You can cover over that with the correct color. I'm taking my medium, not medium, big size brush. It's, this is brush number 11. I'm using this big ground brush. Because this is a bigger shape. I'm going to take this big brush. Anyway, I have a, this I have this pointy tip so I can easily do the sides. Okay, take a bigger brush or medium size brush that you can do this big shape. And we have to dip the brush in the water. So I have a big cup of water here. It's clean water. My brush is also clean. And I have a paper towel to wipe the brush in between. So all these things we need, OK? And we need a palette for mixing the colors. You can even take a plastic lid. Anything is OK. Just mix the color on a palette. And yeah, we'll do quickly. You can just do it easily. Whenever you get time, you can complete it according to your time. So I'm taking yellow ochre with my big brush. Yellow ochre by, with my big brush, and I'm going to add some brown. So if you don't have yellow ochre, you can mix yellow plus brown together, light brown. Or burnt sienna. So I'm mixing lots of brown because uh, she has a chocolate color, brownish chocolate color. I'm just keeping it here. and So take more color because you need to cover this big space, neck and face. And add more water. Okay, using watercolor painting, add lots of water. Don't use thicker paint. It's like a translucent layer of color. So I have enough paint in my palette. I have uh, lots of water here. So you can see the consistency. Now this water is moving. So this is what we want, okay? And you can test the paper, I mean, color on a different paper. This is the color we want. And I'm going to paint the sides of her face. I'm starting with the top part of this face. Go ahead. And you can cover this eyebrow because that's going to be black, a darker color. So you can cover that. It is OK. But don't cover the sides, the frames of the glass. That's a different color. See, I'm just uh, telling, uh, I mean, uh, telling you the steps of watercolor technique. If anybody is doing a different medium like oil pastel or anything, just do neatly use even, I mean, lines. Make it neat. And I'm using the tip of the brush, and I have more control over the brush. I'm holding it closer to the tip, OK? So we have a lot of details here. And you can paint it slowly. Don't worry. You're, you will get the video after this. So if you feel, OK, I'm going really fast, don't worry. You can do it your own speed. Nothing to worry. Just enjoy and complete your work. And share with us. You can use the, the tagline what um, Twinkle said, right? All these hashtags and stuff. Yeah, um, I put it in the chat. Yeah, you can check that, guys. If you want to share your work with everyone, please use the hashtags so I can also see that. The ear is also the same color, so don't forget that. So I mixed yellow ochre plus burnt sienna for this color. So what, what are these colors? Yellow ochre is this one that is brownish, something like this, darker yellow. And I mixed some light brown into it, okay, for these two colors. Yeah, OK, 
Okay, look at this, it's a little bit lighter, but that's okay. Something like this is fine. Oh, the arms, the, the, the hands are also the same color. Sorry, that is also same color. So let's finish all that quickly. And I'm going to wait for a few seconds because I need to do this frames and lips color. So if you do it now, it will spread into each other. So I'm going to wait. I'm making it faster. Have some hair dryer or fan, you can use that. Yeah, yeah. we're almost done. So I think we can do this rainbows and, uh, you know, the butterfly because it's not touching the brown color, so it will not spread into each other. So take a small brush. If you finish the skin tone, take a small brush and paint the butterflies. You can use pink or red. I'm using crimson red, darkest red in your set. And I will add water to lighten the tone. So it will look like pink color. Something like this. So this is crimson red. That means darkest red in watercolor paint set. Hi, Minal. <laughs> Hi. Minal. So if you want, you can add more dots and flowers, OK? Yep. So everyone who joined late, we will post the video replay later after the live. Yeah, you can take some blues, pink, yellow, all these colors for this, you know, patterns. I'm using light, I mean, dark blue with lots of water, Russian blue, okay? Russian blue or the darkest blue, this one. Add a lot of water so it looks like a nice color. And uh, the, the clouds, clouds are also blue color, so I'm completing that part too. And oh, okay, okay I think this, you know, earring also blue color. Same blue. I'm using the same blue. This one is ultramarine blue. That's a little bit different blue. But I'm using the same Russian blue for this, this one here. So you can take your blue. Whatever blue you like. And some dark brown color for the hair. Oops. So almost dry, it's dry. So if you finish that, you can do dark brown color for the hair. Dark brown or black. I don't have black, that's why I'm using dark brown, okay? I'm going to mix it into some blue color so it will look like darkest brownish color. I'm taking um, burnt umber, that is the darkest brown color, plus some dark blue. So that's optional. You can take black or dark brown plus blue or just dark blue. Is it confusing? No, right? Just take something similar color. That's it. See, sometimes we, if, when we explain, it will get more complicated. So everything is simple. Just take black or dark brown. That's it. Yep. So I just took some dark brown, I added some water, then I'm adding a little bit of dark blue too. Even sometimes purple also will make your brown darker. That is also another option, adding purple into the darker purple, okay? 
into the brown. Yeah, it's kind of darker now. Oh, I have a tube dark brown here. So let me take a little bit of that. Yeah, this is dark brown from the tube. That's too much. So I have this darkest color now. I'm adding water. I'm going to paint it. So it's dry now. So I'm just, I was waiting. So if everything is dry, you can paint the hair. Any question about the colors? No, right? So simple. Yeah. No, no questions right okay. now. So we'll quickly finish it. Anything else, a twinkle before we um, We have question. How do you make the pink again? Okay. So, uh, the okay. pink color. Yeah. For the pink, uh, you can use darkest red in your set. Okay, that's the way we will uh, make a pink color in watercolor set. Use your darkest red color. It looks like a maroonish red color, but when you mix water, you will get a clean, nice pink. A good question. So we'll always mix sometimes, you know, white into the red color. That is not the correct way for watercolor painting. We'll add water and we'll make pink with darkest red color oh. and your brush uh, and also your water should be clean when you do it if there is anything in your brush or in your water uh, it will mix into the pink it can ruin the pink color so just make sure that okay okay so while miss nimi are painting the hair of mirabel I will just want to remind everyone our April enrollment is still now open and we only have 16 days before the next batch of classes. Um, and I think I can use the same color for her eye. Anyway, darkest area of the eye is... Um, black color but you know the bigger circle is brown color yeah that looks so dark i can take a clean brush and remove some extra paint so oh that's a nice tip yeah so if you painted and it looks really dark just take a clean wet black wet brush and use paper towel to remove all the extra water and you can absorb that extra thing with the brush like a sponge sponge oh okay but you should be careful <laughs> of these things don't overdo anything so in watercolor simplicity is really important if you're overdoing it will you know mess up the things just subtle changes can make difference yeah okay so what I did before, way back in my high school days, I always put white colors. That's why it's so <laughs> look messy. Yeah, so <laughs> you can do the, that thing. I also did that a lot of time. And then <laughs> when we learned this correct way, it's so it's just so simple. So it is easier. Yeah, for the lips, I think we can take red color. I'm taking more medium red for the lips. And if it is looking really bright, if you don't want that bright color for her lips, maybe you can add some you know, brown or yellow, the skin color. 
the skin color we mixed. Yeah, we already have that. So I think we can mix some skin color into the red color. So it will match to the skin tone. Who already watched Encanto? Yeah, I think almost everyone watched that. Uh, and <laughs> I got a lot of questions, you know, uh, questions about Mirabel, what we are drawing uh, this week. So, so, so many of you told me to draw Mirabel. Me? Yeah. Oh, bubbles. How was <laughs> <Yeah>. it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not bubbles. I forgot your exact name, but I remember. <laughs> yes. Um, Sweta. Yeah. Wow, everyone watched already. Yeah. See, for the eyebrow, you can use black Sharpie or you can use this darker brown we mixed, okay? Yes. Okay, Satya said it was good. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. She's my favorite this year. <laughs> yeah, me too. I watched yesterday and it was so, so, so beautiful. The colors are vibrant. Disney did a great job. Yes, and I love the music too. <laughs> you know, they're talking nah. the music, you know, the, the singing and talking. I like that. Hope I, can, hope I can play music today, but uh, I think you can't hear it, guys. <laughs> oh, maybe it is. The music is so good. And what yeah. is your favorite? Oh, my favorite is Isabella. Isabella, I think, is the one who's... Yeah, flower. The yeah. flower, yeah. Oh, the perfect one. <laughs> the perfect one. Yeah. She's so Me, pretty. I like the strongest one. <laughs> Louisa. Yeah. I like Mirabel, I don't know. <laughs> she's so <laughs> I like Mirabel. Because um, she's, uh, I think, like, you know. Yeah. My favorite is Bruno. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> but she was, I know he was so nice a person, but everybody understood it differently. Yes, Bruno's nice character. I like him. Yeah. Because I think because of his vision power, yeah. he can see what will gonna happen. And everyone misinterpret it or misunderstand it. Yes, sometimes, you know, understanding the future is not good. There should be, you know, <laughs> some mystery. So we'll go and find it ourselves. Yeah. So now the last thing is uh, painting the uh, frame, the glasses with the yellowish green color. So I used lemon yellow because it's so bright and fluorescent kind of color. I used lemon yellow plus tiny bit of green. Any green, so I'm using sad green. Just one touch of sad green. Oops, I'm so hungry today. So today it's 12. Now it is almost 1 o'clock. Oh, it's like lunch time. Yeah, lunch time. And I didn't have breakfast. So it's like, oh my God, I'm hungry. So hungry. <laughs> Madhu said, I like when it sings, mm -hmm. Isabel is the flower girl. Okay. <laughs> I love her too. Just so pretty flowers, you know, a lot of flowers. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. I don't have burnt amber. What color should I use from can, dinner card? Yeah, you can mix black plus brown. Burnt amber means it's really dark, dark brown. So you can use any dark brown or you can mix light brown plus black. Or you can mix darkest blue plus brown. But you should be careful when you mix blue, it can turn into greenish brown color if you didn't do it properly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, black plus brown is safe. So we have completed it, but uh, I think it's missing some, you know, colors here. So I'm going to add a little bit more, you know, random colors into this area. Okay, some yellow, some pink, maybe some purple. Yeah, it's not there in that actual thing, but I'm going to add more colors. Because otherwise, it looks so plain. And maybe you can do some blue background to this. Uh, portrait to be fun because her dress is white right so i think a blue background will be nice i'm adding some mm -hmm. yellow thing okay. so before we finish the painting i would like to share um so again our april 
enrollment is still open it's 16 days left so if you want to join april class uh you can enroll now and then we can you can choose live plus video and video only so uh, all of the details are there in the website you can check it i pinned it to the comment section and then we have uh, academy we have 100 plus videos inside for little artists and young artists and also don't forget to um subscribe in our youtube channel so every time we have this live event you will be notified yes so we'll be doing this youtube live every month right the fourth yeah, week, yeah. yeah fourth week right yeah so you will get the notification when you do if you subscribe so you will not yeah. forget. and most of the time we'll uh, try to do watercolor painting because it's something that everybody wants to learn it's simple but you know if you didn't do it properly uh you can mess up so it's that's why i'm using this watercolor thing so yeah um madhu Yesterday was my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, belated happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Madhu. Oh. Isabel, have a flower bedroom. Yes, yes. And it's so pretty. So beautiful. She's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that flower bedroom. It's so, so beautiful. I'm just doing a uh, cobalt blue for her Ooh. background. Yeah. Yeah, you can use Prussian blue, primary blue, or uh, cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. So if you have any suggestions, please put it in the comment section. So we will add it to our list. And use bigger brush for the background because. You know, you can see I'm doing it very fast because I have a bigger brush in my hand. Mm. If you're using a smaller brush, it will take long time. And the other thing is you will get lots of brush strokes in the background. You'll create lots of tiny, tiny brush marks. It is so frustrating sometimes, you know, painting this bigger area with a smaller brush. Yes, and... Also, yeah. for our summer class, we are just planning everything and we will send out emails when it's confirmed. Yes. And another thing is uh, we will put all those, uh, the materials that I'm using in our description. Mm -hmm. So you can check that, what I'm using, what kind of brush. We'll put the brush link to, right, Pooja? I mean, a twinkle. Yeah, yeah. It's a oh, good we miss Pooja. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, guys. So we have completed it, and you will get the replay in our YouTube channel. Yeah. Hey. So finally, we did this. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a so, screenshot if anybody wants to keep, you know, as reference. Yeah. Before I move to my camera. Okay, guys. Bye. It was really quick video session, and see you next time. Bye. See you next time, everyone. Thank you so much. Please um, post your drawing today. Tag us because it's it's very beautiful drawing and happy session today. <laughs> so I want to see everyone's work. Yes, I want to see. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.